Oh, yeah, I can feel it. I'm going to tell you something. We love Pennsylvania. Don Jr. and I have property here. He said to me earlier, he said, Princess, where are you going? I said, babe, I'm going where you went. He goes, when am I going to see you again? I said, somewhere in Pennsylvania tomorrow in Scranton. You know why? Because you are the patriots that are on the front line that are going to change American political history. It comes down to this state. It comes down to each and every one of you, your family members, your neighbors, and we are going to fight like hell to get President Trump back in. It's happening. And we're going to do it again. And we'll do whatever it takes. We're out there talking to the American people, telling them what's on the line, because we will not recognize this country if that disgraceful Kamala Harris goes in. Who do you want to wake up to on November 6th? Trump or Kamala Harris? Ay, 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 caramba. And I ought to know, I know her for over two decades. And it doesn't get any better if you get what I'm saying. It just gets worse. So let's stop rewarding failure. Let's stop rewarding people that hate this country, hate your values, who are anti-Christian, anti-Catholic, anti-Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. What a disgrace. Like, she does not deserve to be in the White House. She is unqualified completely to be Commander-in-Chief of the United States of America. She deserves to get a pink slip and get her out of here. Throw her out. Throw her out. And God help California because, oh, my God, you terrified me earlier. They don't want her back either, let me tell you. They have a few other problems of their own there. Exactly, exactly. So we love this. I love President Trump. He is my great friend for over 20 years. And he tells Don Jr., he's like, honey, I know a lot longer than you. <laughs> and incredible family. Everybody's so wonderful, hardworking. Laura's out there. Don Jr., everywhere. We have been in every state, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 times. We really never stopped campaigning because our love of the American people our love for the republic, for the liberty, for the freedom that our amazing soldiers have fought for so that every day we get to wake up in a free America to live our American dream, to not be controlled and told how to think, how to vote, what to do, for not to not have our money stolen essentially out of our pockets by the swamp in D.C. Enough is enough. With President Trump, you decide, you decide, you decide, you decide. More money in your pocket, a flourishing economy, manufacturing, unbelievable infrastructure, jobs right here in this country, prosperity. He did it before, he can do it again. And they are so scared of him. He is a disruptor. He is a businessman. He is a man who has signed the front of a paycheck. He's not a paycheck collector or a grifter like that horrific Biden family or Kamala Harris pretending to have intelligence or competency or capability or be interesting at all or think she has a funny laugh. Nah, nah, nah. Retire the cackling hyena. Uh, let's bring in President Trump, right? That's what I'm talking about. Somebody who will stand for our military, for our veterans, someone who stands and appreciates law enforcement. Somebody who absolutely loves this country somebody who is willing to give his life. You have seen that they have tried to do absolutely everything to stop him. He is unshakable and unbreakable. Isn't that the guy you want as president of the United States? President Trump isn't scared of anything, but they sure as hell are scared of him, right? Do you think these lunatics would be acting up the way they have with Biden in and Harris? No. Who knows who he's dealing with? Kim Jong-un knows who he's dealing with. Zelensky is about to find out who he's dealing with. We're going to stop sending all of the hard-earned money of American taxpayers to fund endless wars for people across the world with an end in sight that we don't even know. It makes no sense. And Trump is going to shut it down. 
and he's going to build this up. And I love it. And I love the stories we have heard here about the American dream. Let me cheat it, patootie. My father was born in Ennis in County Clare, Ireland. Okay? He came here to this country. He didn't hop a fence. He didn't run over the border. He didn't run whatever. Because that is disgraceful, and that's breaking the law. He came here and became a citizen the right way to be able to provide for his children. He met my beautiful mother, who was born in Lagua de in Puerto Rico, in San Francisco. I might have been with my family going good things to come out of there lately, but let's see. Um, and they were able to live their American dream. My mother worked as a special education teacher. I uh, followed in her footsteps doing that also before I was a prosecutor. And my father worked incredibly hard, and he had the great honor and privilege, he said, to give back to his country by enlisting in the United States Army. So I stand proudly for our veterans, and so does President Trump. He has respect. He thinks it's a disgrace that even one life of a soldier was lost in Afghanistan with that withdrawal. That is criminal what happened there. We cannot tolerate that. This is the greatest country in the world. Let's bring it roaring back with American exceptionalism. Unapologetic, unafraid, strong, proud. President Trump is going to do that. He is super fired up. I mean, they have tried to put him in jail for, I don't even know, one zillion years at this point. How many guilty count? How many this, 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 this? And what does he do? He goes, because they're trifling. He is going to get in. He is very strong. He's a great man. I love how he surrounds himself with exceptional people who are willing to put it on the line. You have some of the finest Americans here who will do whatever it takes to get the message out. We are not afraid to ask you for your vote and your support. He loves you, we love you, and we want to get it done in this country. President Trump understands, and Chad spoke about it, what border security means. It is national security. We are going to get it done. And we're going to shut down this nonsense, the fentanyl coming in, the human sex and child trafficking has to stop right now. And it stops November 5th when President Trump and J.D. Vance get in. These people are going to find out. Let me tell you something. There's a phrase, a saying, we won't say it here. They're going to find out, let me tell you. He is ready to go. He is fired up. The man is unbelievable. And the other night we had an event on a fundraiser, movies, all kinds of stuff at, at Mar-a-Lago. And he got in at 1 in the morning from being all over the place. And I sat there in the living room. My Kimberly. This is my Kimberly. And he showed up. He doesn't break his word. And he came and he spoke to everybody. And people were so excited. And he came in and they were just like, oh, obsessed. They love him. And I'll tell you something, Pennsylvania is a special place because God loves Pennsylvania, God loves pre President Trump, and God saved and protected his life for a reason right here in this state. Divine providence that Pennsylvania is going to deliver President Trump back into the White House. That Pennsylvania is going to restore the republic. Pennsylvania, along with Trump, is going to make America great again. Are you with me? Let's go, Pennsylvania. Let's go, Trump. 2024, baby. Let's make it happen. And let's bring our fabulous United States Senator Joni Ernst back up here because she got a little dance she's going to show you. Woo! Kimberly, thank you. Give it up for Kimberly Guilfoyle. Okay.